Just got back from a PT sesh and I am freshly showered. Today we started on the bars. It always seemed like the scary area of the gym to me that I never went to. So very excited to actually start learning how to use the equipment. Uh, anyways, I thought that today I'd show you guys how I take care of my hair and how I style it since I always get a lot of questions about that. I'm pretty low maintenance with my hair so I'll only shampoo and condition it every two to three days and then occasionally use serum. But because I have started going to the gym, I do need to wash it more often these days. I heard that that's bad for your hair, like it'll strip it of its natural oils and leave it dry. So I have recently added this hair mask into my routine. This is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin hair mask and it contains two main ingredients which are raw virgin coconut and fig and both of them are really good ingredients for your hair. This is what it looks like inside. It also comes with a little brush so you can evenly distribute the product through your hair. I just apply this once a week because I'm lazy but they do recommend one to two times a week. Now that I've evenly distributed it through my hair, I am going to use my matching hair towel to wrap my hair up. Ta -da! Now I have straight fine hair but this hair mask works for all hair types to tame frizz, tree split ends and lock in moisture without weighing your hair down which for my fellow fine haired girls out there you guys know is a very important feature. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. While we're waiting for this I thought I'd take some ginseng. Hair is good for your health but guys it is so bitter. I like literally need to prepare more water to wash it down. I don't understand how in K-dramas when they do PPL they suck on this like it's a jelly dry because it is so bitter like I don't know how they can keep a straight face. Ugh. Anyways, I actually got a pillowcase from Coco and Eve as well. I have wanted a silk pillowcase for ages because apparently it's a lot better for your hair and also for your skin. <gasps> Isn't this the prettiest color, guys? I have been holding off on changing my pillowcase till I wash all my bed sheets and linen and stuff. Now that that's all clean, I can finally <gasps> switch pillowcases. I am so excited. It is so pretty. Right, got my new pillowcase set up. Oh my god, it feels so nice already. I feel like this kind of pillowcase is a lot better for me because when I sleep, I tend to turn to my side a lot. So, very happy with my new pillowcase. It has now been 10 minutes and I just washed off the mask. My hair smells so good right now. Most days, if I'm not pressed for time, I will usually let my hair air dry. But since I do want to show you guys how I curl it as well, I get so many questions on that. I'm just going to give it a quick blow dry. Hair is freshly blow dried. You can really feel a difference in your hair after using the mask. Like it just looks and feels a lot healthier and more hydrated. We are going to be moving on to curling it now. I get a lot of questions on this hair curler. This is the Vedana curling iron. I got it in Korea. And this is the 36 millimeter one. I've just been preheating it. And I usually have my settings to 180 degrees. And then what I usually do is just have this silver part on the outside and then curl outwards like this. So basically you want to be curling away from your face so that the curls will <laughs> go like that. I don't know how to describe it. I try not to hold it for too long because I don't want to add too much extra heat to my hair. And that is one curl done. We're just going to continue along on this side. I usually take that much hair and then repeat. So again curling away from the face and then I hold it there for a few seconds. A lot of people like to hold it for like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. I don't really count. Uh, we are going to let this one go like this. 
and then that is another pot curl the exact same thing on the other side we curl away from the face and then taking another section curling away from the face again I'm usually not too picky so my curls don't all have to be exactly the same as long as there's a curl there I'm happy because my hair is just so straight so <laughs> Now scrunch up a few times for the curl to cool and hold in place and then I brush it out with my fingers. I don't really like super tight curls so I always brush it out to make it a little more natural. If you like your curls to be a bit tighter you can use a slightly higher temperature or use setting spray but I prefer a looser wave so I just brush it out and let it straighten naturally. So. This is the final look and that is pretty much all there is to my hair care routine. If you guys were interested in this mask, I do have a discount code for you guys. You can enter Nessie at checkout for 10% off site-wide. I have a link in the description box for you guys. I'll also link my pillowcase, which I'm very happy about. I just keep looking that way because it's just so pink and pretty. So yeah, everything will be linked down below. Make sure to check it out. I'm just going to put on some lipstick so I don't look so dead. I'm using this Peach C lipstick in Spring Coral. Alright, I do look a bit more alive. Maybe let's put on some brows as well using my Innisfree Skinny Brow Pencil. These days, I've been going foundation free a lot more often, so I'll just fill in my brows, maybe tight line my eyes, and then throw in a lippy and that's basically it and I think it's just been really good to let my skin breathe Ta -da! that's all I'm going to be doing for now I placed a huge order on Yestel a while back because the seasons are changing and I need some new clothes and since you guys really seem to like it when I share my hauls with you guys I thought we'd do a little try on haul today so look at this huge box guys let me find a place to set up this camera and we shall begin Let's move this box here. This is the first piece. Just a very easy to style pink knit. I really like it when tops have longer sleeves like this. Like I like part of my hand to be covered. Also got this super cute fluffy white hat. I've always wanted one of these. But it's just been so hot in Australia. I couldn't justify getting it till now since the weather has become a lot cooler. I feel like I really like autumn slash winter fashion. So very excited to wear this. Next up is this loose sweatshirt. I love sweatshirts like this because you can just throw it on, throw on a cap and head out the door. This is Brooklyn and I'm now going to throw on LA. Ta -da! This one is really nice too. It's slightly thicker than the Brooklyn one and I think it has slightly longer sleeves which I like as well. This is also good for a casual day out, maybe a grocery run. Moving on to the next piece. I saw this knit and immediately fell in love. It is such a cute shade of pink and I thought it would go well with a white beanie. So I got a white beanie. I think I would just style it like this. How does it look? <laughs> I realized that I actually don't have a lot of beige sweaters. I have a lot of white sweaters. But I wanted something that's like slightly more in a warmer color. So I got this. I really like the knit pattern on here as well. If that shows up on camera. Next is this oversized black tee and I like the design on the back. It, what does it say? Simple simple style. Love it. I think I sized up on this because I wanted it to be like a little more oversized, a little bit more loose. And I guess I could just throw this over a pair of jeans, a pair of black or white shorts and it would just look really cute and cash. I got this white ribbed cardigan. I'm not sure how I feel about this collar design though. Like I wish it was just straight but it has like a kind of dip there. Is that cute or no? <laughs> I don't know what it's meant to do. Like is it meant to show your collarbones better or something? If I put my hair in front of it, it looks fine. So not too bad. I also got this knit vest which I would probably throw over a white blouse. But I'm just going to put it over this cute oh my gosh oh i like it so just imagine this was like a white blouse it's cute right it's also kind of oversized and i think you could style this in many different ways like you could either wear it with like a plaid skirt or with black jeans tucked in like this or with blue jeans and it would just look really cute. I also got a huge white ribbon thing. I didn't expect it to come in this kind of clip there. I don't know what I expected. Maybe I expected it to be like a hair tie. 
but I wanted to just style my hair up like this I have no idea what it looks like at the back but I guess you guys can see so does it look cute? maybe I could even do like a high pony and then have a bow on top like that that would be cute too oh my god so many styling options since i got some pleated skirts i might as well try them on with this as well so this is what the skirt looks like on i think i will probably tuck this in so you have something like this and then you have a super cute preppy outfit this skirt also comes with a safety shorts inside as well which is always welcome so this is the pink skirt i feel like it's like a little loose here for some reason like there's just this loose part there I guess that's extra space for food baby this one also has the shorts inside I really like the color of this skirt I think it will just go well with anything like cream or white colored would just be really cute I got two bags because I'm indecisive and I wanted a black and a brown one so this is the black one and it just has like a golden buckle kind of detail here and you can wear it like this or as a crossbody and then this brown bag it's a slightly different design and also has two big compartments with a zipped divider in the middle i think this one goes really well with this outfit like it's just so cute next up i got this cardigan and this skirt as a set and i love 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 this i think the colors just look so good this cardigan is really thick and cozy as well i think it would look really nice with brown knee-high boots so this is what the skirt looks like it's more of a pencil skirt kind of design also it comes with shorts inside and i think you could style this on its own as well as as a set with the cardigan it's so cute i love it so much oh next is this long kind of coat i guess i just wanted something that's really nice and good quality that you could just throw over anything so i really like this cardigan as well these are the final two pieces this came in a set so this is like a super cute little strappy dress and a blue cardigan to match and i think it just looks so summery so cute and even though it's getting cooler here in sydney there are still some days where it's really hot so i think this outfit would just be perfect and i think you really need the little off shoulder situation going on for it to look its cutest i feel like this is a little long on me i think i would prefer it to be like a little shorter still very satisfied with this and i can't wait to wear it out so yay that is all the items that i got in this haul let me know if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff because i'm not sure if you guys want me to show you every single item i got or just like a few cute pieces but i really like everything i got this time so very happy if you guys did have your eye on any of the pieces that i showed today i will try to link everything down below if you guys didn't know already i do try to link my outfit details in every single one of my vlogs so if you see anything that i'm wearing in my vlogs that you like make sure to check the description box because i always try my best to link everything but uh, yeah that is it for this try and haul i'm gonna be heading out for dinner and movies with alina later tonight we're gonna be watching minari since it won a golden globe and i think it got nominated for like six oscars so yeah we're gonna go check out what the hype is about going to the boutique slash gold class cinemas today so we're gonna be eating our dinner as we watch the movie it's gonna be a very bougie experience never tried it before there's always a first time for everything and today is the day where we experience gold class cinema i honestly haven't been to the cinemas ever since the pandemic started it's just crazy anyways i'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon catching up on work so this is gonna be it for now and i will see you guys tonight <laughs> We're just sitting here bored, you know, so used to the gold class. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> we are in the event cinema's gold class lounge right now. This is literally like our first time. No, what do you mean? We're always in the gold class lounge. We were like trying to book tickets yesterday, and then the only available option to watch it at this time was in the boutique, boutique. cinema, which is like very fancy, very expensive, and we were like, maybe we should just do it. <laughs> we just enabled each other. It went from us. I was like, why are these tickets so expensive? This is so crazy. Yeah, and then well, five minutes later, we were like, maybe we should just go there. <laughs> like, maybe we should just do it. Yeah, we're like, will there be food? And then we searched up the menu. I'm like, maybe we should just go. <laughs> but it actually looks really nice as well. Yeah. Like, it kind of looks like a proper theater. So we can go in half an hour in advance to like chill and order food and just feel expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy.
<gasps> it looks so nice <laughs> so bougie and like these seats swivel so, so we can just like we can like turn other, to each other comment during the movie we can like turn around and be like oh my god isn't that so crazy <laughs> so i think there's like two other seats that are booked but i mean right now it looks like we have the cinema all to ourselves yeah oh my god London, maybe we can just like chill swap seats <laughs> move around when we want to <laughs> I don't know what to think. <laughs> it ended so suddenly. I know. The movie ended, but it didn't feel like like it felt like it was just about to start it, properly. It felt like the hardship, like that was the climax. Yeah, you and then the, now like, everything's gonna action. become better, right? But then it it just cut, and then the movie <laughs> ended, and you could hear everyone in the cinema be like, "What?" Because <laughs> the lights just turn on. No, but I'm I'm gonna pretend that they just become rich selling me nari, and that's how it ends. Really good thing. Yeah. That kid was definitely the best part. He was so good, David. This seems kind of comfortable though. Yeah, no, I don't want to get out. We really, really paid $43 for nice seats. <laughs> <laughs> the food was pretty good though. Oh my god, I'm so <laughs> full. We were just pigging out the entire time. The seats are really comfy though. I want to yeah. see like this in my room. Have have like Can you space. imagine us watching startup like this? Home time. I have popcorn there. <laughs> so much popcorn. <laughs>